A big thank you to Volvo Car Silver Spring for making this trip to Sweden possible. In video number one, we went to Gothenburg. This is part two. We are heading for V60 Adventures in Northern Sweden. The picture of flying over Northern Sweden shows a hauntingly beautiful frozen landscape that's only 100 kilometers from the Arctic Circle. We went to the well-developed town of Lulia, which has 50,000 people, really great infrastructure. It actually has a Google data center and a really well-renowned technical university. Our next stop was the northern town of Bowden. It has 17,000 inhabitants. It's got great shops and restaurants, very small but charming and walkable, especially in the main town area. Uh, road conditions themselves are uh, pretty tough. They're covered in snow and ice, and it's very cold, but it's well plowed and maintained even when you're outside of the main town areas. You got to dress well. Temperatures can get as low as minus 16 to minus 30 degrees. Our rented chariot for our adventures was this Volvo V60. It's a diesel B4 and it has 197 horsepower, a little sluggish there, but respectable 221 foot pounds of low end torque. Has permanent all wheel drive and snow tires making it ideal for the conditions out here. Diesel is important in this area because it costs $10.12 per gallon. That is two and a half times the $4.25 per gallon we pay in the U.S. The car has 40 MPG efficiency, which is very appealing. The interior cabin dimensions are exactly the same as our S60 sedan at home, except you get one extra inch of headroom in the back. We love our S60 recharge. It is fun and fast to drive. But at the same time, it has one downside. This trunk is only 11.6 cubic feet. We wouldn't even be able to fit our bags to the airport. The Volvo V60 solves this problem holding all of our luggage comfortably. It has 22.6 cubic feet of capacity, which is double the S60. But if you fold the seats down, you can actually get 60 cubic feet of capacity, providing a lot of utility. There is a reason why this car is so popular among people living in the country. Uh, our car was a diesel with all-wheel drive and equipped with snow tires, so it handled the snow conditions perfectly well. And I felt safe the whole time, even though I'm not that used to the conditions. Uh, the car also has a large roof that fits luggage racks and bike and board racks very well. Uh, another reason why this car is popular among active and outdoorsy people. Our next adventure in the V60 was on to the historic town of Gamelstad. Hey guys, so as part of our adventures in the Volvo V60, we are just outside of Lulia and we are in a uh, church town called Gamelstad. Uh, church itself over there uh, can trace its, uh, although there were mentions made of services uh, in the 1300s, that church structure over there is from the 1500s. And over here you have this little wooden city with church cottages and you can uh, trace that history back like a hundred years later. To give you an idea of how old, it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And to just to give you an idea of how old that is, the Taj Mahal is from the 1600s, so that's about a hundred years older than the Taj Mahal. I feel incredibly honored to be visiting this site, and I'm going to take you around and show you some of the sights and sounds of here. And I just, you know, this whole environment uh, in winter can be quite a hostile area, so it's amazing to me about how people have managed to adapt and live here and get around here and uh, it was a very wealthy wealthy part of the world because of fur trading and salmon and mining and all kinds of things over the years um, it's a beautiful site i definitely recommend it's worth visiting if you come through to northern sweden Be sure to stop by the Gamelstad Visitor Center. It's a little bit like a museum. There are replicas of a cottage as well as church interior and what it used to look like. Uh, descriptions are given in both Swedish and English, and there are also touch screens everywhere that are interactive. Our four-year-old was happy the whole time.
We then saddled up our V60 and headed out into backcountry with a little bit of off-road driving on our route to go dog sledding. The scenes were beautiful everywhere, but with a few hours of daylight. And then we had a stroke of luck. We bumped into some local reindeer, something we were really hoping for. We then got very well dressed for the cold weather and got to harness our dogs. It was cool to see them get excited as they knew their big run was coming. As soon as they start running, these dogs go completely silent. They are, after all, working dogs that are born to run. Yeah, these doggies just want to run the whole time. We got to just keep the brakes hot because they are ready to go. Uh, just such unbelievable animals. Uh, I just can't say enough about how amazing they are and how adapted they are to deal with these cold conditions. I just cannot get over that these guys sleep outside. And uh, it's actually a great thing because their coats get thicker. Uh, yeah, just what an unbelievable experience. What do you want to say? Oh, wow. It is so beautiful out here. I just cannot even tell you. Oh. Living in a city, I don't think we get out enough. This is just really, really special. One of the main reasons we came to northern Sweden was to see the northern lights and take our chances with this. Our app only gave us a single day, a Thursday and a two hour window in which we had a high probability of seeing it. So on a recommendation, we drove out of town to a frozen lake, which is away from light pollution of the city and we hit the jackpot. Aurora Borealis is really a mystical and magical site that is a bucket list item. And uh, what made it so much better was getting to experience this in the Swedish outdoors by a frozen lake. Uh, truly just a beautiful experience and we knew we were experiencing something special. I was in Sweden because of the overseas delivery program and it got me thinking. What if I had really busted my budgets and ordered a dream car? Could that car ever be a wagon? Yes, it could. It's the Volvo V60 Recharge Plug-In Hybrid, specifically the one engineered by Polestar. This recharge has had its engine software and front strut engineered and customized for performance by Polestar. The dampers are optimized and the brakes look great in yellow calipers and they've been engineered for performance made by Brembo. The interior has all the luxury of the ultimate trim with custom sport features like these contour sport seats as well as the trademark yellow seat belts. And of course the crystal gear shift made by Orfors. This two-part video series has been great. We got to visit Gothenburg and V60 Adventures in Northern Sweden. And the people have been so great and hospitable and kind. We thank you for a great visit. Hit the like button, hit the share button, hit the subscribe button. Good night, everybody.